Hi everybody. I wanted to do a January uh, flip through. I don't have a lot of pages um, because I've been trying to use the space on the weekend two pages also. But I'll do the flip through and there's a couple of other things that I wanted to um, talk about. So the first thing is I put my um, little Valentine message heart uh, charm on because it seemed to be the perfect thing for February. Uh, the other thing is uh, I'm still really liking the finish uh, since I, you know, kind of stripped it off. Um, it's much... It doesn't really look like any Malden that I've seen on video before. Um, it definitely is softer like the um, ochre Maldens tend to be, uh, but it is not shiny at all. It's much matter. Um, you can see the difference in these um, reinforcing areas and on the strap. I didn't do too much to them because I didn't really want to weaken them in any way and the leather is feels much more supple and and even thinner um, oddly once the coating was off I'm trying to get I'm not sure if I'm I'm not sure how much this is going to show up but um, but you can see it's it's got a much more matte much more natural finish now um, I did uh, treat it with alcohol one more time recently, but besides that, I haven't done anything to it beyond what I talked about when I talked about doing it. Um, I do uh, oil condition it fairly frequently, although not as much as when I first did it. Um, and I did it last night, so it still has a little bit of a, a sheen. You can definitely see it's leather because you can see the pores in it now. Honestly, it looks entirely different. Um, if I can find the video I talked about this, I'll link it. And also the blog post because the blog post had more of the information in it. And again, I don't really suggest anybody doing this. Um... You know, I mean, unless they need to remove the finish because it's defective or there's a big stain on it um, or, you know, they realize they can't sell a planner anyway like that and they just want to try and salvage it um, because you could definitely wreck it. Um, okay, so that's that. I This is my in case of emergency with an A instead of an E card. Um, I don't think I talked about this in a video before, but the contact information within the pages, I just can't imagine somebody who's not familiar with Filofax actually looking for it and finding it. So I just put, this is a uh, pocket divider, and I just put my contact information on the inside and a little in case of emergency tab at the top. It stays in, it's not a problem. Um, everything is hidden. I, it, like if I'm somewhere, I'm at a store or whatever, um, there isn't, my contact information isn't sitting there, but you can't miss it um, because it's in the front. So this is really good for me. I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna leave this here. The only reason I may change it is to fix the spelling, but um, otherwise it's really good. Uh, the other thing is I, I've talked about this before and I keep I keep a pen um, in the rings. I know a lot of people that have 
zip binders do it because there's there's a lip here but um, I've been just keeping a Coletto pen in here and I have a very small rare earth magnet which are very strong um, I've been trying to find a pen that I could actually stick the magnet inside but it's just a little too big for the the mechanism but I just taped a magnet on and stick it in here and it just stays in the rings doesn't matter what I do with it it, it stays the rare earth magnets are really really strong um, I don't use the Coletto for writing uh, my my daily st stuff or really much but they're really good for writing on uh, translucent sticky notes I don't know what I did with my translucent sticky notes. They are somewhere. Um, the, the pen I use primarily is the Pilot Juice Pen in Gray, and that does not dry well on um, the, the, the translucent sticky notes. Um, and the friction pen is even worse on those kind. But the Coletto ink dries really fast and immediately and doesn't smudge. So. If I'm writing on something that's a, um, where am I, like, like these, um, the Coletto dries on, on these see-through sticky notes, so uh, that really works for me, and I always, and also if I'm putting an address on an envelope or something like that, I want something that's, that's permanent and um, so I keep my my Coletto in there um, I mean nothing's real my son wrote me a poem for Christmas I told him that's what I wanted for Christmas um, these are my this is my Weight Watchers power foods list some diet notes um, um, this is uh, information about barley and different fibers like that. Uh, this is a Midori Traveler's Notebook insert. Um, I know a lot of people have seen this. I really like the quality of these and they're A5 in length but shorter and I've used the Traveler's Notebook books in um, an A5 before probably last year I, I actually punched holes um, not with a hole punch that's kind of impossible I used a Japanese book all and punched a hole in a whole notebook and then I was able to keep an art journal in my Filofax and it's you know this big so it's shorter takes up a little less room in general because of that and I like to use my traveler's notebook stuff because it's so nice this is the insert with the zip pocket on one side and the slip pockets on the other and it's really good I mean it I really like these better than the big cavernous A5 zip pockets and which are pretty expensive and a lot of them have um like a zipper that comes out here but this zipper is actually on the side so it doesn't really interfere with the, the top line of the insert so if you have one laying around that you're not using it's um it's a good option uh judith sent me uh judith sent me a storage binder she sent me a domino and she also sent me the um, Gilio inserts and there's a couple things I really like about the Gilio stuff um, I, I like the dots on the divider I know that that's kind of minor but I don't know it's not plain to me but it's still like really visually appealing I like that there's a whole set of top tabs and a whole set of side tabs. Um, and I like the topics. 
um, I'm primarily using the Ordning and Rita inserts um, because I, I think they probably work best for what I'm doing with the little watercolors. Um, but I, I do have the um, Quimis inserts to try out and I'm going to be doing that also. Um, where are the Gilio? Okay. So, one of the top tabs on the Gilio is for the diary, and it gives you space to write in things like birthdays or important holidays, and that's nice because then next year you just move the divider. Um, you don't have to rewrite everything. These are the... Quimis inserts, and I really like this layout, actually. Um, it's plain, it's white, and there's no lines. So, I don't know, this just speaks to me creatively. Um, it didn't handle the watercolor as well as the Ordning and Rita paper. A lot more wrinkling, a lot more difficulty when I overwork stuff in the back. But these would be really suited for all kinds of decorating um, and also drawings. Um, not as successful with the watercolor, but I, you know, I mean, most people really aren't doing that. I believe the paper is a hundred pound, and it feels really nice. It's got a smooth feel to it. Um, the the disadvantage to these and the Ordning and Rita um, inserts is they're not good for archiving. So this is um, December, but I have to leave, you know, the, the pages in. It's difficult to archive these because I like to archive these and I really can't and so then I have a lot of random dates in here. Um, it would be perfect if there was a note page on the back. It would just make things so much easier uh, for me. And this was January. And these are my little, this is like a, my, this is my top design. And there was just nothing but snow. Um, so frustrating. Snow, snow, snow. I got so sick of drawing snow, I didn't do the second half of the month. Um, here's one of the designs I did at the top. Definitely have to work on night scenes. It doesn't really look that good to me. Um, this is paper that came out of a flow magazine. It was a whole section um, on Japanese crafts with paper and stories and projects. A lot of it was open graph paper and I've been using this as my middle page where I write my notes and my to-dos and all that stuff. Um, my, I know last month I talked about doing a page of January goals and that really worked good for me. I mean I didn't meet them all. I probably wrote nine or ten and I probably actually did four of them which is huge for me um, it's about progress not perfection and so I did a I started a February goal sheet too now these are the these are the Gilio inserts and when I first tried them I wasn't crazy about them and I didn't think they took ink that well. Mm, I'm gonna, I know I did a pen test, I'm gonna have to look for it. Cause I thought there was a lot of show through on the back considering, I, I, you know, I was just writing with a gray pen and a little bit of highlighter. I thought, gee, you can see a lot of that through the back. And the paper isn't 
really that Considering it's a high-end planner paper um, I would expect it to feel a little more luxurious um, and also be a little bit more ink resistant this is kind of the opposite of the um, Reme da Vinci paper uh, which is very thin and translucent but you know you're not really getting anything on the back and I have to find the pen test it's in here it's in here somewhere um, this is another one of the Gilio inserts it's a graph paper and I you know I mean I love the design and the layout but I split the, these days so I could do meal planning on one side and writing on the other and I mean this is all this is is a juice pen I mean and you, know, you not, not only get um, a lot of shadow but you know indentation so I, mean, I just thought it would be a little bit different um, maybe a little bit thicker but I'm enjoying so many things about it but that's really not a deal breaker, although I thought that it would be. Um, these are appointment inserts and they have times. And this is a notes insert, which is just blank. And I have um, Marianne's Hyperdex. I got them yesterday and I've been trying them out. There's another one. Um, this is a translucent sticky note and I got it from uh, Kawaii Tokyo, the Etsy shop. These are the kind of um, post-it notes that I need to use a Coletto on because for whatever reason um, they dry, they dry fast, and they dry forever. This is the uh, Gilio page marker, and I, this is the best page marker. I would buy two more of these, maybe, if I could. Um, it's translucent. It also extends beyond the bottom and extends beyond the top, and it's the perfect ruler page marker, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is another one. It's notes. Yeah, not so much in focus today. So this is the uh, notes, and this one has uh, check marks. So it's like a to-do list. Um, this is the the hyperdex that I did today, and I thought for me it might be really useful for the things I want to track every day. Um, um, Marianne split the cores into thirds so you could do a lot of different things but uh, you could also just track individual things. This inside I'm going to try doing sleep, the outside I'm going to try doing um, meds and vitamins and uh, exercise walking primarily and on the outside I would use it as a standard um, you know, radio planner to track appointments and um, different timed things. Um, sleep was not good last night. It's those two little blue marks. And there's one more I need to put in around six because I slept another hour. But I do need to keep track of that. I do. I have um. I have a, a sleep disorder that I take meds for and. Um, you know, when you sleep this little, days just sort of blur into other days, so it's hard for me to remember um, after a time. And so I take my medicine for it at different times throughout the day, and I don't want to forget that. Uh, this was February, and I just started this one. I did some herbs on the top. I did a football for Super Bowl Sunday and it's snowing again. I just 
think I'm not I'm gonna get sick of drawing snow again this was like a mitten this was some trees but if it goes like January I'm gonna like bail out of drawing snow really soon because it's supposed to snow again here I just can't take it and Ventura can't take it either um, he's not very I don't know if you can tell he doesn't have his brace on but you can see this, that foot is curved, whereas that's a normal foot. And he's got a lot of um, red marks um, right there from the brace. And his foot is um, contracted, all the muscles have contracted and the foot isn't right and his balance on ice is not good and the salt hurts his feet and he won't wear those booties um, so he's having a really bad winter and so am I um, so these are the Ordning and Rita uh, sheets they're similar they look similar to the Gilios a little bit more ivory than cream. Um, the paper's thicker, but not so thick that it feels like um, cardstock. This, um, I think, is my favorite paper to write in my A5. The um, Rayme paper is definitely my favorite for the Portland. Um, because the, the rings are much smaller and it really suits what I'm doing. Uh, what did I do with that pen test? There's another top tab. This is where I keep my extra sheets of paper for you know what I use for the middle of the week on two pages. This is the Flow Magazine paper that I cut down. Okay, here's the Gilio uh, pen test. And after doing this, I kind of thought it, I didn't really you know, like it that much. Um, that's pretty significant through the back, and that's a Sharpie. But it's just really dark. I mean, there's, there's bleed through on just gel pens, and it... You can see the indentation of the writing. Um, the shadow is kind of dark. Um, and while you can see on the back of the Rayme paper too, um, there's not a lot of bleed through. And it's so much thinner. Um, anyway, so these are the ones that I did. I did the um, three Pilot Juice pens I have. And you can stay it now have a 0.7, which actually looks darker because it lays down more ink. And I have the Pilot Juice Turquoise, same thing. You'll get a much darker appearing line with the 0.7. These are my Microns. These are the Staedlers. This is the high tech C in gray, and this is the friction gray, and two spot layers that I have, uh, no, one spot layer that I doesn't do well on the Filofax paper, and these are the, um, this is the, uh, the one with the window by, I think, Uniball. And this is the mild liner. You can see these are almost identical. And this is another Pilot Spotlighter. Um, personally, this is the driest highlighter and therefore works better for me um, on planner paper. These are the two wettest and have consistently, you know, done the worst. Um, I think there's almost like bleed through on this one. Um, I like the colors on these, but they're just too wet for, for planner pages. So after doing this, I wasn't, 
I thought this isn't a paper that's going to work for me, but my handwriting is so much better on it. I'm sure it's a combination of feedback and tooth and a lot of different things. This is the uh, Jaleo Contact. I'm undecided still about whether to write them. I have them in personal size and they're in here. There's projects, which I just put like all my house stuff and all adventurous stuff. Nothing really new there. Um, and then there's two more tabs. I need to move the goal ones to my monthly goals. And there's expenses, which I'm not doing because I really keep track of them with the cash envelopes and um, in my Portland. So I guess that's really going to be it. Um, I wanted to do... <laughs> sure. Um, I wanted to do a, you know, a flip through for January, but I used the week on two pages a lot, so I didn't have a ton of the middle sheets, which is usually what I show. Um, but I wanted to show the emergency contact tab. The Magnet and my Coletto, the Gilio paper, and whatever else I had. And um, thanks, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, look forward to seeing all of yours. Hope it's nice and warm where you are. Um, I can live vicariously through everybody's nice, warm areas. Bye, guys.